Yo, what up? Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and it's Look Who It Is. That's what we're back at doing today. Once again, I'm shifting in my chair, and this thing is falling apart. I don't know if you can hear it, but like the, the rubber armrest is just like creaking. It's, uh, it's a chair that served me well, but like it's just falling apart. You know, it's just like completely collapsing. The, um... Like, so it had like this, uh... Like, obviously, so it's like a hard plastic covered in, like, a foam, right? Uh, the kind of foam that you'd see on a chair's armrest. The thing is, though, that the actual, like, hard plastic cracked, collapsed in on itself, and then, the, and then that made it to where whenever I would, like, rest my arm on it, that would push the foam down into the... because the armrest was essentially hollow. Uh, which it probably should not have been hollow, or it should have been reinforced or something, because, like, it's pretty flimsy. And I can actually see there's another crack that's just starting to form, where it's basically, like, where I would normally put my elbow. It's just, like, completely... Like, it's gonna snap in half the other way, right? Like, if it snapped in half, like, lengthwise then this is going to be snapped in half, like, width-wise, if that makes sense. And it's just, it's just completely collapsing. And so it's a shame, like, I would actually buy another one of these if I could, because it's still a good chair, and most importantly, the back still works, but this would be a good, like, take the armrests off, and then, um use it as, like, a... well, maybe leave them on, I don't know. But, uh, th this would be a good, like, painting chair, because I usually put my arms and hands on the desk, and not, like... Although, honestly, maybe armrest could kind of go, go hard when you're painting minis, but, uh, anyways. A little quick play sudden death, very hard, random? Random moment, random character, Katu Rufu, dreaming of Shiakawa, all unlocked perk cards. It's look who it is. And, you know, of course... My dog, she's just chillin' for, like, she's just chillin', she's a fiend, a beast. And then the moment I start recording, she's like, hello, allow me to introduce myself. And it's like, hello, you don't need to introduce yourself. I, I, I think I, I, I think I would've, like, you know, maybe introduced yourself ten years ago, but not now. Don't need to do that. But, um... Anyways, we've got Charisma, we've got Dexterity, we've got Strength, and then we've got Second, blah, blah, blah. No Second Enemy, but we do have Takashi and we do have Light Source. No Knowledge, but we do have Light Source. So, we'll see. Now, we do have all unlocked perk cards, so we can't rely on, uh, you know... It's look who it is. We can't rely on that. The the Pathoth Flash and the Sheb Surge and all that. Now what we can do is we don't need the dog store. We'll take the... But here's the thing. Do we need the occult store? Maybe we take the vending machine and try to use the brick. Because we do have a dexterity check. But uh, we don't need the, the dog store. At all. The dog store can be thrown in the bin... Relegated to dust, the ether, the abyss. We don't need to. We don't need to have that one. Vending machine, occult shop. Vending machine, occult shop. I'm going half and half on it, cause it's like, I kind of want a brick, but I also kind of want like a small candle or a ritual dagger. Cause like this is basically choosing what weapon we want. And I think, I think we can, the problem with the brick is it's going to do three damage and it's already pretty fast. So I'm just trying to think of like, what the hell are we actually doing here? I actually might hit you with something wacky, okay? We're going to roll the vending machine for now. And then we're going to do something a little, a little unexpected, a little unconventional, or we could just... We we could just Yeah, we, we we could honestly just like do that and be like completely okay. For the for the rest of the game, we could just use a brick. 
We could just use a brick and we'd be perfectly happy with that. Hold on. Moriko on the first try. No. No, Rico. No, Rico. Uh, Alright. We ball. Balling strats. She hasn't shown up yet. If you, if you can actually believe it, I'm still... I'm still clicking. You might think, how the hell... There she was. You might be thinking to yourself, how, how the hell can you see through it that uh, that quick if it's just like a bunch of black boxes on your screen there's a couple of them there's a couple of the tv shows that have rings on them like if you go back here there's a couple ones that have like rings and moriko is one of the rings but her ring is in like a specific area and then the other ring is like in a different area so you can see the the lines like the defined lines of the rings through the boxes and then you can just be like, you, you can just notice that when that shows up, that means you saw Moriko. But, uh, yeah, a little, little BHP. I do not know what that is a reference to at all. If it's a reference to anything, it could just be the drip. New Toshiaki drip dropped. Um, hmm. I think we're going bulletin. I think we're going bulletin. I think we're going household sailor hell. What the hell? What the heck? So here's what we're gonna do, okay? This is not gonna be a, um... This is not going to be... Your average... Hoshiaki experience, but... We're going to take advantage of the fact that we have quite a bit of Doom to play around with. And I think... We might get something kind of interesting here. If I do say so myself, we might get something a little bit fascinating, even. A little bit silly, perhaps? When the contract is signed? True. But, uh, what was I gonna say? I do not know. I have lost the train of thought, and I am gonna try to jump on a different train. Who knows? Although I have to grab the dog, because she's trying to get my water bottle. I have to leave the water bottle on the floor, because there's not really any desk space. So when she's trying to beat up my water bottle, that's a problem. And also when she's suspiciously walking around the, uh, the switch that will turn the power on. And it's like, hmm. No, you can't have, you cannot eat the microphone. You cannot do that. Well, she was going for the microphone cable, but, you know, that's a part of it. Well, it's a detachable part of the microphone, but it's an integral part. The, sh the, the show wouldn't happen without the microphone cable. So it's pretty important that we keep that going on. Um... Now, I think I'm just gonna get cursed again, which, admittedly, this is not, like, the greatest thing of all time. And you're looking at my Doom going up, and you're like, no, he can't be, and it's like, yes, he can. Uh, we are gonna hold off, though, just for a little bit. The reason why, I'm gonna go up to, like, 26, I think, looking for a third book. I, I'll, I'll go up to, like, 27, looking for a third book. Hey. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, 31% Doom Toshiaki Gaming, uh, not, not ideal, um, certainly, uh, honestly, hit me the, dab me up on the police station, no, you cannot, you cannot destroy my water bottle, get out of here. Okay, dog has been, uh, has been gently pushed out of the closet, goodbye, but, um, what was I going to say? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Um, I think one strength is a little bit too much right now. So we're going to wait a little bit before we use the whatchamacallit. Before we hit the gritty. But it's important to just kind of like, you know, have get all our shopping out of the way. 37% might look a little bit nasty, but remember, we get minus 50% in total, so... I mean, what if we just hit the gritty? It would be really fun. Like, we're taking Doom either way, right? 
So we might as well just, like, hit it and see what happens. I don't really care about the random stuff that we could have gotten there. Um, minus two funds moment. <laughs> true, true. I didn't need any money anyways. So right now, it's not looking too good. It's second enemy, by the way. Uh, it's Jover. It's Jawadida. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do, alright? We're gonna do that. And that's actually, like, pretty impressive. Like, I actually can't be too, uh... Like, that's actually, like, decently impressive. 87% chance to... to kill him. I, I, I... Listen, we took some Doom. We're taking Doom regardless. But I can't really complain. Like, yeah, okay. Minus 50% Doom isn't gonna, like, help that much if we leave this mystery with 42% Doom. But at the same time, it's like, I think we've set up the run. Like, the only bad thing... Yes, we could have gotten the fourth book. The only bad thing about this run right now is literally just the fact that we have terrible stats. Like, our combat is decent enough. Uh, exclusively because of a very fun thing that we got immediately called Ancestral Strength, uh, which means that we can just win. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about blocking? You ever think about blocking a little bit? You, th you ever think about blocking some enemy attacks, just perhaps? If we hit both of these, this goes hard. Understood. If we hit... Both of these goes hard. True, true, true. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. 90? 90% chance to kill him. Now, we ended up taking two damage anyways, so not ideal. But I want to point out we've killed three enemies in this one mystery. That's pretty good. The vampire was the second one. Um, now, I mean, you know, you're looking at this, you're seeing your charisma go down to one, you're looking at these, like, dog shit perks that are so bad, and you're like, I almost want to take folklore studies, I'll be real with you, but we're actually going to take a point of strength, because strength is going to be the stat that we're using. Now, we are going to keep the brick, because this is very important, okay? We're going to keep the brick. And actually, I think we probably, the brick might be the superior option at the moment. We'll see. But, um, just because it was very reliable. Okay, taking second sight was absolutely the play. Having the plus one damage against the this boss alone, the, the idol, is 10,000% worth it. Like, just, just by having that bonus alone. I think we go to bulletin? Yeah, I think we do bulletin right now. We're gonna keep the brick. We're gonna keep the brick. If something goes wrong, if our next fight is detritus, then we'll we'll see what happens. But I honestly think, and actually I, I do say we're gonna keep the brick, but we need to make sure the forest node is our in our inventory at least once. And I don't know if it automatically getting sent to the, the Shadow Realm counts. Like I feel like you have to just have it in your inventory once and then you can put it away. As long as you... Uh, you don't even have to open it. You just have to have it in your inventory once and it works. So let's see what we got going on here. I mean... I mean... This is gonna do 9. And then this is gonna do 7. So it actually just kind of, you know, works out pretty well, actually. Well, we're terribly sorry. We've lost Emmerdale through some technical fault. We're trying to find the fault, and we will correct it as soon as we can and go back to Emmerdale as soon as we can. Until then, we'll play a little... Ah, I'm pleased to say we can rejoin Emmerdale. Short Emmerdale as a treat. And it's look who it is. Oh, he actually showed up. Uh, goddamn computers are heavy. True, true, true. Okay, so we're saving the brick just in case we need it. But I think our combat's probably gonna be fine. We did not win the lottery. True. We did not win the lottery. <laughs> we won something. But it wasn't uh, what we actually wanted. Some funny, comically uh, inaccurate injury to turning off a fan in a hilarious manner? Or never mind. We just... Uh... 
maybe we'll just get flashbacks and almost instantly die. That's that's probably a, a good discard moment in case we got a second flashbacks. And listen, we investigate this, get a curse. Then we that curse is flashbacks, instant death. I think I'm willing to take a little 4% doom just to kind of dodge some maybe cosmic, uh, cosmic comedy, I suppose you could say. Okay, this is a certified, you just throw the brick at the enemy moment. And then you, you, you feel pretty good about that one. You definitely feel pretty good about that. She never stood a chance. Now we sell these, right? We absolutely sell those. And I'm thinking we just send it. I'm thinking we just send it. Uh, yeah, we can turn around. That's okay. We, we can take the Doom. I'm actually, out of everything that I'm looking at right now, I'm actually worried about the Doom the least question mark. Do we want Insomnia? Sure. Um. I do think... Do we have Fetid Fumes? No, we don't. I actually feel like we rest here. Like, this is going to be a little weird, and it's also, like, tempting the gods a little bit for his, like, doom, as far as doom is concerned. Yeah. As far as doom is concerned, <laughs> we tempted the gods a little bit. And, uh, we did kind of lose that gambit, but I think that's still, I think that's still okay. Now, Blood Moon is really, 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 really bad. Uh, you might think, oh, do you have enough reallys there? Uh, not really. I think, ultimately, though, we'll probably still be okay, but, like, goddamn. I think we still do... We're gonna do Sailors, and I'm trying to think, like, what on earth do we actually do for the items that we need to discard, because I actually only have one item that we can discard. Maybe we can fight, like, Stockchon or something and get a branch. Maybe we can fight an enemy and scavenge. We can, if it's a stamina enemy, we can take, like, a... We can take a turn to just scavenge something if it's a stamina enemy. Even if it's one of the worst ones, we should still be fine. I think the... Ultimately, the thing that we don't want... Now, don't discard it in this screen. I'm superstitious about that. But ultimately, we just need to kind of get into a fight and then scavenge an item, I think. Dexterity is our second highest stat, and also our stamina is max, so if the game wants to deal stamina damage to me, that's fine. Now, the game wants to deal reason damage to me because the game sucks. It was bad. <laughs> hey, can we discard the, the Katu Rufu statue? No? Okay. So we didn't get into a single fight, and we didn't get a single item, but I actually think I, I do know what we can do here, is we can go to the, the police station. We can go to the police station and grab one of these, dab me up, and then uh, discard. I mean, it's not really much of a choice, is it? I mean, listen, I'm a Miku Andy, so we're taking the Miku version. <laughs> There's not really much to say about it, other than that. So now we're out of uh, instant death range from uh, Frostbite, so that's pretty cool. Ice me up. I did discard it, right? I'm pretty sure I did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was timeline A, so it didn't even matter. But that's okay. We're pretty cool about that. Now, contaminated water can go to hell, but it is what it is. I almost want to do Flood. Just because we'll full heal. But I don't think... Well, I don't do that a lot, but... The problem is that if we go into arms... Like, I guess ARMS is a stamina boss, right? And we need to get as high level as possible for the, the idol. Because the idol will just, like, the idol's gonna beat our ass regardless. 
Okay, so... I mean, we can do a lot of damage. Like, an absurd amount of damage, don't get me wrong. Wait, was I st was I stupid? Did we were we actually doing 24 damage? No, we weren't doing 24 damage. Okay. I wasn't really paying attention, I'll be honest. I saw that like we can get a two-turn kill and I was like, yeah, uh-oh. I wanted to rest. <laughs> so now that's not happening. Is this the I, I I like I don't know how long some of the people watching this episode have been watching the series, except for like a a few, like a handful of people who watch it regularly but like when is the last time something truly evil has been relevant to the to the run like that's actually kind of nuts we're gonna do it like this because we can guarantee that the cyclops neighbor is dead in two turns wait we can actually just do this i don't know why i, I have i wasn't doing that earlier just for fun i guess but like, I'm trying to think the last time Something Truly Evil... Like, we usually opt into it. Like, every Something Truly e Evil episode, we've opted into it for, like, achievement hunting purposes. And so now, seeing it like this, it's in this very niche situation where it, like, actually, like, matters a lot. And it's like, that's kind of nuts. Because, like, I can't rest here. And we've already gotten our uh, two charges at the Witch's Tree. So there's not really... Oh, oh, we're dead? Because, like, if I do this, this does three, doesn't it? Well, no, it's a low threat level, right? So it's still going to do two. I remember that. Also, we rolled a two. Damn it, hunger. Five, one. Are we really going to do this? Are we really going to just walk into this goddamn stamina boss room and just be like, we can win on five? We're gonna win on five health. That's the declaration. I mean, we're just gonna die here to reason damage, but, uh... Or maybe we're not, actually. We could have gotten an injury, but this just guarantees. Like, the injuries go from... Oh, let's go. There was no boss. The boss wasn't real. Freaky Flood can go to hell, actually. Um, honestly, ghost connection moment, and then we have to take sanity here. So we are strong enough to kill the boss. Like, I'm pretty sure. So we should just kill the Kappa and then go rest as many times as possible. Like, maybe take the Theologist if we can, but like, no, just, just, kill, the, just kill the boss. Actually, was I stupid? Like, hold on. No, I can do I can do sixteen. So don't don't even worry about that right now. Wait, was I was in desperate? I was in desperation range, wasn't I? Yeah. True, true. Yeah, true. Oh well, as long as we don't take two sanity damage here, we're fine. Which we could die. Uh, or we could just be completely fine. So that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so yeah, just fully heal. Like, sorry, researcher friends. I know that you don't want to die, but also, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Why do we have 50% doom, by the way? Like, that's pretty messed up. We're on the final mystery. We've had 50% doom the whole game. Okay, so this is bad. But, on the bright side... On the bright side, we're only going to take two damage on the first turn, because it's weird. And then we can prep, prep. We can prep attack, prep attack. And then block. So we're doing seven damage to the boss guaranteed. And then we're taking two. And then this is just our life now for the rest of the combat encounter. I'm even saving it. And then I'll try to actually hit the load key. Because, like, it does a lot of damage, but... is dead. And we got a spell that we can just get rid of because of uh, based ghost connection. You love to see it. Now, we do have charisma and light source. So, 
unfortunately, we're going to have to spend our 62% uh, free doom that we have. Well, not 62%. We don't have. We can't spend 62% doom, but we have 63 doom before we die. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to. Oh, I don't know. Rest until we're fully healed. The. Oh no. Oh no. Look at that. 57%. No, dude. 57% doom. How will I win the game? No. I can't believe I'm going into the lighthouse with 57% doom. I'll never win now. And honestly, it literally does not matter. Like, we can kill him turn one if we wanted to. Which we just did. But, like, it literally does not matter. Like, there is... Toshiaki is a very strong character. <laughs> Fuck it, perception. Fuck it, perception, we ball. Why not? It doesn't matter. The, the lighthouse can't kill you if you're at max health on any of the difficulties. And we have 80 more billion doom to spare, so we're feeling pretty good about that. We did, uh, it was Bulletin second, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That was, um, this was one with, I just bumped into the microphone stand. That was, uh, my, my, my bad, my mistake, my B. Um, yeah, that was a pretty dominating Toshiaki run, even though our stats were, like, the worst in the game. <laughs> I, I've never seen stats those that bad, but you know, we didn't have Shib Surge, Shebby Surge, Shibi Surge. So, you know, our stats were always going to be kind of detritus, because we would use it, we would cast it like a couple times every mystery just to keep like a cup plus, plus two, plus three stats, uh, especially if it's going to be a harder one. But no, that was, uh, that was pretty good. Just stack attack speed bonuses, Lamau, and you'll, uh, you'll win every time. Monkey Wrench, three strength. The, the easiest win of my goddamn life, apparently. That was a fun run. We, we haven't done something like that wacky on Toshiaki in a while. So I'm pretty content with that. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye.